friends of mine from Stonington had been visiting friends in Florida and they said, hey, there's this really cool boat. Let's go take a ride in our, our whaler and go look at it. So they go to the, this canal system and boats are tied up behind houses mm -hmm. and Aphrodite's tied up there behind the house and it's a mess. My friend Amy came back and said, there's only one guy who can save this boat, it's your boss. And she hands me these pictures. So I show them to Chuck. And Chuck, he was looking for a larger boat. And he looked at it and was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's not very interesting. But anyway, you, you find out about it. Just research it, find out about it. And the more he found out about the boat, he thought, wow, this is a really an amazing boat in the history. And you know, President Roosevelt used it during the war for three and a half years, Shirley Temple. Half of Hollywood had been on board. So he, he does some research, he finds out about the boat. And says, this is a piece of American yachting history. This is the user of his word, we need to save. Because in another year, it'll be gone. The boat was derelict. Bilge pumps, were, all four bilge pumps were running 24 hours a day to keep it floating. Oh. The worm damage, the termite damage was so extensive that you know, every time it rained, it just, it was like water coming in everywhere. Chuck Rice, had a vision. He could see this. I was struggling to see this old wreck of a boat turning into this shiny thing it is today. I, that was kind of hard for me, but to have a vision and a man with those resources to step up and do what he did for Aphrodite and, and future generations, because it's important, because that was his mission to save this for future generations. She was restored at Brooklyn Boatyard in Brooklyn, Maine. And um, she is a restoration, a rebuild. She is 100% wood replacement, but her hardware and design are original. A few modifications, but nobody can see those. There's the engines, there are the girls. She is powered with a pair of 1,000 uh, horse Caterpillar C18 engines, diesels. She, her top speed is 40 miles an hour. She's very swift and light. Of course, fast and loud, having the engines pulsing like a heartbeat, very loudly, and uh, rocketing along. <laughs> it's an amazing experience. You know, she gets a lot of attention. It's fun, and you know, you cannot be, you cannot do this job or be on board this boat and think that you're going to be invisible. What do you think? What is, what is Aphrodite to Watch Hill Harbor? an icon, of course. It is Watch Hill. You know, people look forward to seeing this boat every year. And they look for little changes. You know, every once in a while someone will say, ah, oh, you did this, you did that, you changed this. You know, we're not a sideshow, but we do, you know, I want her to look as good as she can.